previously on Dad's Academy. Ready? Now! We are going to be putting on the event of the year. Can you take a photo of us, Abigail? <laughs> what? The photo. I've been unfair to you and... I think I know what it is. You do? You were scared of falling, so I got to you. You got me a bird. I think she is. Check it out. I'm sorry, mate. I, I didn't mean it. You were all at the party when the police arrived, so you are all on detention until further notice. But Back I to class. Its mother had died, and so every morning I got up at five to bottle feed it. Okay, you got an hour to pitch tents and get organised. Toilet, sir. Uh, right. so Come this way, girls. Should he be worried about brown snakes? No, the real danger is drop bears. Imagine koalas only flesh eating. Okay, three people to a tent, so I'll pick your sleeping buddies. Yep. Uh, it's just cat. Uh -huh. Boys are on the other side of the hill. Uh, I guess. You're with us. One day I was in a hurry to get to ballet. And I left the gate open. If you're homeless, Miss Histeg won't mind sharing. When we got home, there was blood everywhere. The dogs had gotten in. My lamb was gone. It was the first time I realized that sometimes when you make a mistake, you have to live with it forever. What's that? Nothing. I found it in my locker room. It's Kat. I know it's her. Okay, so she's not president of the fan club at the moment, but I mean, she wouldn't go and do Freeze me like... out. Not listen to my zillion apologies. Hey, I think there's stuff going on with her that we don't know about. I made one bad judgment call, and now I'm the enemy. What did you expect, T? Her brother was off limits, and you went out with him anyway. Okay, and then you went and... Cheated on him. Just say it. There's pictorial evidence. I'm not taking sides. Hey, Sammy, come here. I want to tell you a story. Yeah, you're Switzerland. Mr. Lieberman, my classroom. Five minutes. Is this going to take long? You'll be out of here as soon as you've handed in your assignment. Oh, um, I have a note. Sammy. Would you mind reading these? Sure. Uh, Abigail was unable to complete her assignment due to eye strain. Abigail was unable to... Tonsillitis, bronchitis, uh, dermatitis. You have dermatitis. Interesting, none of these conditions prevented you from dancing. I preserve my energy for what's important. I find it important that you're failing English. And if that continues, I'll keep you down next year, no matter how well you dance. You wouldn't. Before you go on camp, you will submit a new essay on Midsummer Night's Dream. Sammy will be your tutor. I'm not sure I'm the best person for this job, miss. Well, according to Miss Rain, you're both on detention. So, instead of doing that tonight, I own your derrieres. <laughs> In two days' time, when you're surrounded by nature... Remind me again why we're ditching civilization. Inspiration. You're going to be dancing in the open air, workshopping variations from A Midsummer Night's Dream. There are some acrobatic elements in the modern version. Skills you may need if you're thinking of joining a contemporary company. <laughs> US nightmare, huh? K. 
camping, acro, outside your comfort zone. Sylvie Guillem used to be a gymnast. World's best dancer. I'm sorry. I'll catch you if you fall, right? Oh, adorable. Did you hear that? He's gonna catch her. Yeah. Catch her or catch something <laughs> off her. Ignore them, right? Can I talk to you? Just for a minute. Mate, right. oh. Um. Yep. So someone, someone gave this back to me and I thought, well, I thought you could return it. Yeah. But it's not right. Trust me, it wasn't expensive. Golden boy, I've been looking for you. Hi, Tara. Hi, so you're back. Yeah, exchange was nuts. The Russians massacre you in technique class. Truth is, I actually really miss this place while I was away. Liar. You just miss me. Huh? <laughs> oh, sorry, was there something you wanted? Um, no, um, I'll just see you in detention. Did something happen with her while I was away? No. <laughs> well... Nothing serious. Oh, you are such a player. Ah. I said six o'clock. It's now six thirty. Struggling to care. But you seem to have a problem with me at the moment. Is it just PMS or...? No, my problem is that I'm the UN. Okay, Cat blames Tara, Tara blames Cat, and guess who I blame? <laughs> you didn't have to send that photo. And if you're now harassing Tara with them, well then that's just... What? Like I could be bothered with a melodrama. So, where's my assignment? I'm not going to do it for you. I'll sit here with you and I'll watch you do it. I'll give you some pointers, but if you're failing, you need to do it by yourself. Fine. Do you mind? If you're not going to help me, I'd rather you didn't watch. It's kind of creepy. Run along. I'll be fine by myself. If this was a movie, we'd have a water fight right now. Uh. <laughs> I I'm sorry, I should go out with you. Why? You can't deny there's something between us. Something other than your sleaze and my casual loathing? Look, cat. You're sad. I think. I know I can make you happy. Look, don't say anything now. I'm gonna prove it to you. The wheels are already in motion. That was a proper declaration. And I just couldn't bring myself to kill the slobbery hope in his eyes. You know, I've never understood the whole crush thing. What makes someone behave that way? That's my line. Sitara would normally... Would normally what? Nothing. It's just, it's a relief. I'm not obsessing over these things. And five, six, seven, eight. Okay, a midsummer night's dream. The star crossed lovers. Cat, you're dancing Helena. Feisty, funny, and betrothed to Sean. 
Except he's now in love with your best friend, the sweet Hermia. Hand to heart would never happen. Hermia's in love with Christian, and he feels the same way about her. Delightful. Somebody cue the vomit. Who am I, sir? Puck, the one who makes things worse before it gets better. Now that's top casting. The point to remember is that while most of the ballet is about mixed signals and misunderstandings, in the end, true love wins out. Good. Let's do it again from the top. Aha! On time and the correct length. I should go in for matchmaking. Couldn't have done it without him. Okay, noble dancers, lend me your ears. We're continuing with your Shakespeare immersion. I'm going to show you an excerpt from a film. If I can just get this working. I want you to tell me how it contrasts with the text. <laughs> what? Okay, who we'll put this in here? Thank you. Thank you. Pay attention, because I don't find this remotely funny. Bullying of any kind will not be tolerated. Trading bra, can you wait? Can you just stop, please? What do you want from me? Seriously, go Pash Cat. That was a mistake, alright? Whoever, I don't care. Just leave me alone. No. What? No, I'm sick of leaving you alone, Tara. Yeah, sure, you're probably the most annoying person I've ever met. And most of the time, I don't even want to be around you. Then there's other times, and you're the only person. And I like you. So yeah, balls in your court. in the shadows. So I read your essay. It's good. Although being your tutor, I would have advised you to change a few more words. It's pretty easy to see it was copied straight off the internet. Well, it's not like I had a choice. You're blaming me. <laughs> Abigail, I'm about to get done for cheating because you couldn't be bothered to do your own work. Actually, I tried. Yeah, right. I couldn't do it. Look, I know my strengths. And I know my weaknesses. And I'm fine with them. I put my energy into what I'm good at. But... <laughs> it's such a cop-out. Not really. You obviously think I'm stupid. Otherwise you wouldn't have checked to see if I cheated. So when the bears drop, well, it's it's more of a pounce. Hey, Cap. 
handle like that. Hey, Sean. So, um, have you thought about what I asked? Uh, you have to stop. Uh, excuse me, Sean and I were having a conversation. Look, I get that we'll never be friends again, but you can't keep attacking me with like this. Like I could be bothered. In my mind, you don't Are you sure things. you want to get them off of this? She's you beautiful when she's mad. Boys, remember, you're both in love with Tara. She's the one you're fighting over. Okay, Kat, you spot what's happening and you try to stop it. I don't get it. I heard Ethan, not That's you. That's part of it. Then what's the other part? Do you like Christian or something? Oh, no. Okay, girls, come back into the center. Bring some energy to it. You have everything and you rub it in my face. I'm so sick of that self-righteous attitude. Good time. Not self-righteous. <sighs> the problems aren't real. They just happen in your head. Less good, girls. Stay with the choreography. Hey! Girls, listen. Tara, Katrina. <laughs> Enough! Stand up! Katrina, you were on probation and skating on very thin ice. And Tara, we gave you a scholarship for a reason. This is no way to repay us. Get to the showers. Petra, can you please supervise? You forgot my birthday. You left me stranded at the gig so you could go off with Lucas. He was my boyfriend and all you did was judge him. And how did that boyfriend work out for you, Kat? Wasn't I right to judge him? I can't believe you're bringing that up now. Bottom line is, you left me and I needed you. Actually, the bottom line is, I'm sick of both of you. We all are. So, I take this clothes. Hostage. Petra? Petra? Petra! Come back! Wow, I've never seen you with a pimple before. It's almost like a novelty. It's a mosquito bite. Check your contact lenses. Look, Abigail. <clears throat> I don't... I don't like you most of the time, but I, I definitely don't think you're stupid. Out of my way, Luke. I think you're scared of trying, which... It doesn't make any sense because you're about to go out there and be fearless. Look. In a billion years, I could never be as brilliant as you are. Yeah, but you just mean dancing. No, I... I kind of mean everything. Abigail, your entrance. Ow! You're stepping on my toes! I need more room! Well, there isn't more room! Oh, great, this is the boy side. Doesn't matter, we just need clothes. Down, down, down. <laughs> oh, it's Sean's, I can smell it. Yeah. Told you it wasn't me. But why would Sean? It would seem he has a rather large crush on me. His idea of a romantic gesture? Like a proper one? Do you think he's fantasizing about you? Because a Sean fantasy could mean anything. Anything, I know, right? <laughs> and what if he's got the GPS thing going? There'll be like no place to hide. What? Nothing. I know you don't think my problems are real. I think. Listen. But they might. And I guess I've just been pretty unhappy lately about what I'm doing here. You should have told me. I think I wanted you to ask. And it, it kind of just feels like you put everything ahead of me. 
ballet and guys, which is cool because you don't need me. But the thing is, I need you. So how did Natasha take the party? <laughs> Was there a fallout? Major, she went ballistic. Hey, you're wearing my clothes. We're practically married. Mm. I sense we might be getting a divorce. Really? Bad call? Mm-hmm. Burn them. <laughs> hey, do you have a minute? That's it. Burn them all. So, I've been thinking a lot about what you said, and I like you too, but only as a friend. A friend. I've put it out there a couple of times now. I know. I'm not going to be doing that again. I know that too. Not perfect. I couldn't put it through spell check. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, give it back. Ah. Disgusting. It's another thing you're brilliant at. <laughs> really? Because I've never written an essay before. I was homeschooled, so my mom always did them. I spend a lot of my life wishing it was more like a choose-your-own-adventure book. It made me think of you. And if I don't like how something turns out, I can just flip backwards and do it again. What are you doing, Tara? We're just looking. Of course, in real life, that's impossible. You have to live with consequences. I never looked after another lamb, but three weeks later, I adopted a joey. The first of many. And... I have always remembered to shut the gate.